Hello everyone! In this video I compare the Walking Pad R2 and the X21, two of the most popular and highest quality models in the Walking Pad range. Both treadmills have their own strengths and weaknesses, and I'll help you decide which one suits your needs better. If you don't know the channel yet, I test and compare the best products for the home and garden. I always try to get something special for you as my viewer from the companies. If you want to take a closer look at one of the models afterwards, you will find the detailed individual video test reports linked in the video description. Let's start with the design and assembly. The Walking Pad R2 and the X21 are both supplied fully assembled. The R2 has an unfolded length of 145.2 cm, is 72 cm wide and has a maximum height of 132 cm. The X21 is slightly more compact with a length of 142 cm, a width of 71.1 cm and a height of 100.7 cm. Both models are easy to fold and can be stowed away to save space. The R2 has a reduced length of 16.2 cm when upright, while the X21 is shortened to 22.5 cm when folded. The running surface of the R2 is 120 x 43.9 cm and consists of four layers for optimum shock absorption. The X21 has a slightly larger running surface measuring 121 x 46 cm. Both models are designed for a maximum body weight of 110 kg. The R2 weighs 36 kg. The X21 is slightly heavier at 37 kg. Let's move on to the functions. The walking pad R2 is a hybrid treadmill with two modes. In walk mode without a handle it reaches up to 6 km per hour and in run mode with a handle up to 12 km per hour. The X21 offers a top speed of 12 km per hour, but no separate walk mode. Instead you open it up and can then set the speed. Both treadmills are equipped with a safety plug that stops the device immediately if necessary. Now let's move on to assembly and disassembly. Folding and unfolding the R2 requires a little practice and strength, especially when extending and fixing the handle. The X21 on the other hand offers a simpler mechanism with a safety lever and is easy to fold and unfold. Both models can be controlled via the KS Fit app, which works reliably on both Android and iOS following a major update at the end of last year. The app makes it possible to track training results and forward them to health apps. The R2 also comes with a remote control, while the X21 is controlled via the app or the control element on the handle. Moving on to volume and dampening. Here I measured the two walking pads under the same conditions with a decibel measuring device at a distance of 1 meter in 2 km per hour speed steps up to the maximum. As you can see the volume of both treadmills is moderate, although the R2 is slightly quieter at maximum speed. I recommend a thick rubber mat to minimize the noise, especially in apartment buildings. In my opinion, the X21 offers a slightly better running experience. It feels a little softer when running than the R2. Let's come to my conclusion. Both treadmills have their merits. The Walking Pad R2 scores points with its 2-in-1 design, which offers both a walk and a run mode, and the additional remote control. In walk mode, it takes up less space under the desk without the handle. The X21 on the other hand impresses with its ease of use, larger OLED display and slightly better running feel, although it has to be said that the R2 doesn't feel bad at all when running. My personal favorite is the X21 because it is quicker to put on and take off in everyday life. For free runs, the display is really nice for your training overview. No matter which model you choose, both treadmills offer excellent quality and a pleasant running experience. Thanks to the partnership with WalkingPad, I can offer you discount codes for the US and UK. Simply follow the correct link in the video description to activate the discount automatically as soon as you add the WalkingPad to your shopping cart. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or would like to share your experience, write it in the comments. 
Until the next video, all the best.